got a nice afternoon, got to toss it around. How fun is that? Well, we threw the ball a lot. Yeah. Uh, we want to see what these guys can do. I uh, thought it was up and down for the most part for the quarterbacks. Uh, each of them did some good things. There's some things to work on. So uh, I think going into the summer, uh, we're going to be hungry and have a lot of things to work on. What kind of things will you ask of these quarterbacks to, as they continue to compete during the summer when you can't hit your hands on? Well, we want them to come in, work hard every day in the weight room. Uh, when they're out there throwing with the receivers, I want them to do the right techniques, throw the ball out on time, lead the guys in the summertime. We, you really need the quarterbacks to be leaders. Uh, so they just need to keep getting better, try to get in the film room as much as they can, and uh, know that come fall, this competition is still on. You've got your first spring under your belt. You know, what's, your, what's your impression of how you know, things have gone for you as well? Things, things have gone well. Yeah. They've gone well. We have a good quarterback room. Quarterbacks that want to get better, want to learn. Uh, good competition going. So uh, I've enjoyed being with them in that room, and I look forward to the fall. How about coaching with your brother? I mean, is that, it has to be an interesting dynamic there. No, uh, he was my position coach when I was playing, so we do have some experience uh, competing together and um, him kind of being in charge and me trying to follow directions. So I am used to that. So uh, it's been good. It's, it's great having everybody here, the family here, and uh, it's just a lot of fun to everybody around. I'm going to ask you about the coachability of those quarterbacks, though. I mean, does that make it easier? Obviously, they have room to improve, but have they been pretty open to embracing a lot of the things you guys have tried to do with this group? Yeah, the quarterbacks, they've been very, very good at taking coaching. Uh, we coach them hard, uh, every single play, every single rep, every single throw. Uh, so they got to be coachable to play in this offense, and I think they have been. What's it like? I mean, obviously, people look from the stands, it's brother, brothers on the sideline. Have you gotten used to being on the sideline with your brother? Well, you know, like I said, when I played, he was on the sideline with me as well. So it's it's kind of the same dynamic, just just a little bit different. We're both coaching now, but uh, you know, he's kind of he is still the one in charge, kind of telling me how to go about it. So. It's, it's been something I'm familiar with and something that I think we work well together. I apologize if somebody's already asked this, but the connection you have with the quarterbacks, knowing that you've been such a great player and you basically you know, were playing last year and now you're with them. Yeah, I think uh, me being so recent out of playing uh, does provide a, a certain sounding board for those guys, uh, knowing that I've just been in it, been in the same situations they've been in. Uh, so I think they can take what I say and, and really believe in it and trust it. That, uh, that I've been through it and kind of know what I'm talking about. So that really helps me when I relate to them. How much do you tell the guys, don't compare yourself to Brandon? He's a different guy. He's gone. That's, that's the first thing I started out with. They need to be their own, their own guy. Uh, they need to be the best quarterback that they can be in the way that they need to be it. Not everyone's the same type of quarterback. Um, so we need to just try to situate our strengths at quarterback, uh, get better at our weaknesses.